Central Time. Coach, if you can start us off with an opening statement. Yeah, I think we were just all excited to to get season kicked off. Uh, it's, a, it's a long off season for the players and the coaches and a long summer uh, of, of work. And it, it's always an exciting time when basketball season rolls around and it's it's clearly in full swing after the weekend. So it was good to it was good to, to get it kicked off. Uh, I thought we played hard and at sometimes really, really well at A&M, um, you know, fell short. But I think we learned some lessons from that game. and. Um, and then I thought Saturday's game against UTRGV was was just a well played game, really by both teams. I, I didn't think we made a you know a ton of of mistakes. You know I thought it was just uh, two teams that shot the ball pretty well, and uh, we were we were lucky to to come out on top on Saturday. But I'm pleased to, pleased to be moving forward, and we have a big week ahead. And against the Vaqueros, Sydney Love had 21 points, 11 assists. The last time somebody had. Uh, 20 plus points and double digit assists was Monica Gibbs 15 years ago. What did you think of the way your uh, point guard played on Saturday? I thought she was just in, in control. You know, I mean, Sid has been here uh, for three years and been a three year starter and someone that we, we definitely rely upon. But I think also you just see the growth in a young lady that, that has sort of been in the fire and understands what the the day the, the the roller coaster you sort of ride in a game and I thought that she had some really really good moments but I thought where she was so impressive was just her ability to stay connected with our team and and to stay focused on what the task at hand was and not to get too high or too low uh, it was probably one of her best performances as far as what I call keeping the blinders on and and just have tunnel vision and what it was going to take for our our team to win the game on Saturday. Alexis Parker earned her, I believe, fourth career start. Demera Allen got her first career start, just her second collegiate game. What did those two do to work their way into line? Uh, I think it, it kind of goes back to, you know, what I just alluded to, which is the summer grind and the off-season grind as you get ready for season. You know, right now, you're really, from a coaching perspective, you're looking at who's been the most consistent from day one, you know, and, and who – has sort of put their shoes on, laced them up, and and worked every single day. And I think that those two um, have really shown a level of consistency with just how they're approaching practice every day. I mean, there's there's others that have too. And right now, it's it's um, you know it's a level of of uncertainty really with our our wing players. Uh, just you know who who's going to be ready to play, who understands the scout. Um, you know who understands what we expect, who to, how to get the ball to the right person at the right time. Just a lot of things that go into playing at this level, and I think that it'll it'll still be you know kind of a week by week situation. Just because there are some other players that I think um, deserve some playing time too. I thought Emma had some really good minutes and hasn't played hardly at all. But when you go back to the question, which was about Lex and Demera, it's just been their level of consistency from day one. I'm glad you brought up Emma Lucio. You brought her up in the post-game press conference, too. She was someone who I wasn't sure was going to see the floor against the Vaqueros. She had a lot of family there. She's from the Valley, and she came in and hit two pretty big shots. Uh, Sina Gudadaro came off the bench. She hit some big shots. Is it a, a comfort to have that many shooters uh, down the bench at next man up mentality type thing? For sure. I think we have more players prepared to play. Uh, you know, last year it was it was a struggle at times to – be able to find some guards that were preparation wise, um, you know, ready to play in the game and knew the scout and knew what was expected. Um, I just think we have more players that are taking the, the approach to practice every day and the approach to getting themselves ready to play in the game. I think there's more players taking that seriously. Um, you know, we talked about this probably a month ago when we, when we knew, pre you know, su season was just around the corner. You know, like, what are you going to do to separate yourself? Uh, because there is a clump of guards that are really pretty similar in skill set. Uh, some defend better than others, but some shoot a little bit better. But reality of it is, like, you, you have to figure out a way to separate yourself. And some of that is on the defensive end. Some of that is knowing the plays, uh, pre preparation, play-to-play uh, -play mentality. There's a lot of things that go into that. But I... I think it's wonderful that we have some options and that, you know, if someone's having a bad night, is there someone else ready to go? And, you know, Emma was ready. And I think if she can figure out 
how to approach every day like she maybe approached that game. Uh, you know, I, I think she she had a good approach to to um, the exhibition game that we played, and I think if she can build on that, then she has a skill set that will help our team. And we'll close things out with this one. Uh, Jordan Jenkins is a player that demands attention from the defense. How does her ability to drive in the paint open up your offense and allow some of those shooters to get open on the perimeter? Yeah, I mean, we talked about that this morning in our staff meeting. I mean, we've, we've got to find this sort of level of um, next pass mentality because, you know, the way teams are playing us right now, they're sort of inviting uh, the ball to go into the paint and then they're, you know, they're crowding it pretty quickly. So I think we have to have a better mentality of, of moving the ball, uh, you know, maybe playing inside out some uh, next pass mentality. And I think that takes some time. You know, I think everybody's anxious to play. They all want to make plays. Um, but I think Jordan does demand a lot of attention. And, you know, we talk a lot about just playing on two feet, um, you know, reading the defense first, not getting in too big of a hurry. And she's wonderful at that. I mean, she has a pace about her that is uh, is really, really terrific. But I, I think, you know, we're probably going to have to play some inside-out basketball. And, and if we – make the other other team whatever they're choosing to do. I mean, you have to pretty much take what they give you, and if they give you uh, next pass, then you have to make that, and then it'll come back around to you at some point. So I think, um, you know, there's an, an ebb and flow with that with Jordan. I mean, sometimes they leave her one-on-one -on -one and say, okay, we'll let you score, and we'll shut everybody else down, and some defenses don't want her to have it. So I think she has to continually uh, challenge herself to read the defense. All right, that'll wrap things up. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.